Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on OpenMP implementations in Fortran. Now in this tutorial, I'll be explaining guys a, con a class called as WorkShare class. Now what WorkShare class does is as follows. Suppose let's say you have a small piece of code in your program which is serial. Okay. But, you know, but you notice that this code with a little bit of tweaking, uh, you can parallelize it but not too much but it can be partially parallelized or uh, the work can be shared among multiple threads while they're doing the operation okay then uh, if that being the case then work share uh, is the class that you want to do because that that will help you to achieve what you want okay to explain the work work work, work share class okay I've, I've written a small program over here and it's quite it's very simple not too complicated let me walk you guys through I set four threads for this program I set up my, I set a value m which is to be very a very large value and to see to make sure you see the open you know parallel regimes in action and I set three arrays a b as a b and c and t1 t2 and ep are the time parameters which we used time variables that we used last in, the, in all the previous programs I have assigned uh, initialized a b and c to be zero I set the number of threads act to be activated by this command over here just like previous times. Uh, call CPU underscore time T1, CPU underscore time T2 or the time routine calls as we lose last in the previous time. Uh, I calculate the estimated period over here and then little correction for the number of threads. And then I just print the values of A, B and C with little ad adjustments to make sure that you know they're working fine. To get the value to, to make sure that our calculations are running fine or not. This is just a sanity check. This is just a sanity check. Okay. Now. This is the core part of the program, this region. Okay, now A, B, and C. Uh, I mean, I'm doing some arithmetic operation with A, B, and C. I'm setting each and every every value of A to be nine power two, so it will be eighty one. And I'm setting B, every value of A, B to be one power two, so it's just one again. But I'm just saying, like, if you want to do any arithmetic operation with them, you can go ahead and do it. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, and now, and what I'm going to do over here is that all I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to add the values of A, A and B okay now here's the thing this section this line A uh, can be done by one thread B is kind is independent of A so as of now so B can be uh, done by some other thread okay and now when this when this is being, when this is being done when A and B are being done okay as and when a and b are start, start uh, you know some parts of a and b are uh, starting to happen are uh, starting to you know calculate and finish the value c can jump in and the and they can just take up the job and start start finishing so by the time a and b finish this addition of a and b will be over as well okay now that's how we look at work share so if this in this in this as a consequence of this instead of having one single thread which first calculates A and then calculates B and then adds A and B together. Simultaneously, we can make sure that A and B uh, run by separate threads and C gets also uh, starts after some time and start adding A and B together. Okay, starts adding A and B together depending on the case. So this way, though this is a serial code, you can make it work. You can make it work parallelly, and that's the that's the significance of uh, you know OMP OMP workshop. What it does is that you know it finds a re region of code. Okay, when you when you wrap a region of code with OMP workshop by directory, what happens is that you're telling to the compiler like, hey, heads up, this little region can be parallelized and can can be you know instead of being done by a single thread multiple threads can jump in and break the work and split it among themselves and do a one, cons one considerable part of it one considerable part of it okay and that's the thing so if you don't put this work share automatic uh, on the end of the day only one thread will work okay but if you put a work share you get you're letting a permission you're letting an option or a kind of giving an invitation to the compiler saying that hey I put a work share over here so if if you want to use multiple threads or something as defined by some of the previous comments you can use it so it's like this space I'm just what I'm saying is like uh, you just give kind of like oh, let a, let the compiler get an option to make it parallel okay 
so that's the thing now before we run this in C uh, parallel let's see how the serial work in serial works okay and to make sure how this works to understand how this works i just kept the system monitor of my laptop over here so that we can look at the cpu history and the memory uh, memory usage over here so that we get an idea about what's happening now uh, just a reminder uh, since i'm using a very large value of m over here okay uh, I might I might I might come across this linking error or some segmentation fault error which I view which uh, which my okay so what I've done is that uh, in my terminal in my terminal I okay let me clear this in my terminal I would have uh, you should type like u limit minus s and then type unlimited okay and then if you type u limit minus s and this should this value should be unlimited like if it's some kind of finite value or something what happens is that your stack memory will be uh, will have a limit so you might end up you might uh, come across errors like segmentation fault or you know uh, code uh, static memory allocation overload so the uh, linking would be linking would be problematic or something like that okay just so make sure that u limit is minus s and especially for this program since we're dealing with the large matrix large arrays what happens is that uh, you have to make sure that you have to include this mc model equals large okay this flag or it can be mc model equals medium that's not a whichever is convenient so i said it mc mc model equals large for factor of safe for of safety and that's it i'm setting that over here and uh, i'm running i'm letting letting it run okay uh, so but first let us run this in serial this is just a similar code which we used for the a similar shell script which we used for the previous program. So nothing much different in it. Now, if you look, run this in serial. Okay, check this out. A single thread is working. So it took about 0.839 seconds to do the job. And uh, if you look at the operation, this is the RAM spike we get. Okay, RAM spike we can get clearly because of the addition because of the these matrices A, B, and C. And initially, uh, uh, CPU three worked because this is the green thread, so CPU three uh, CPU three worked. And after some time, the job got uh, just got transferred to CPU five, and that's it. Okay, it took about a point eight eight three one eight three two seconds to do this entire thing. Okay, now now what do we do is that let me just comment this out as well i'm suspecting that something you know this time actual times are being calculated wrongly okay now what i'm going to do is that uh, let's run this in open mp mode let's run this in open mp mode and this time let's set the number of threads to be two to start with now if i run this If I run this, I just get, uh, uh, honestly, I just get like 0 0.88, 0 0.808 seconds, 0 0.808 seconds. So if you look at it, uh, at any instant, only one thread was working. So CPU one was working for some time. And after that, the job got transferred to CPU five. So even with open MP work share, uh, only one thread was working at, at any time. And the time you get is not that different not much of a big difference it's point eight, uh, point eight three over eight three two over here and this is point eight this is point seven nine two so they're like beating around the bush around they're beating around point eight seconds to do this job and if you look at this th this performance this run over here this entire thing was just run by a single thread as a con single thread which is cpu3 and as a consequence this is slightly faster so if the threads did not uh, transfer the job then it works faster then the time execution is a little bit faster okay now 